What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special video here on the channel because this is our first ever AEW figure collection video. So, you guys know back in 2020, I think it was like February 2020, I want to say it was literally on the day that my son was born, we got shown off the official images of the figures. You know, it was New York Toy Fair. That wasn't the day that the commercial came out on AEW Dynamite and all that good stuff, but it was the day that we got to see like Series 1 and 2 of Unrivaled on display, you know, and it was showing everything off. We had the prototypes head painted and all those different things. There was interviews and things showing off. It was right before the pandemic really hit hard and shut everything down. And I remember just everything about that. And we fast forward to today at all the sets we've gotten, all the exclusives, all the different things. They even made me become a mock figure collector, which is something I never thought I would see. But as you guys can see here, we do have my full mock AEW collection. I couldn't even fit it all here in the thumbnail and in the picture here. So we are going to go one by one through all the figures. And we're also going to take a look at the loose figure collection over here on my shelf so stay to the end if you guys want to see the loose figure collection as well but i figured it'd be a fun hangout video where you know it's just like the long collection videos of the wwe action figures but it is our first ever aew action figures and this is probably one of my favorite lines to collect i love all the packaging i love collecting the figures they're just amazing man the posability they're definitely not without fault for every, you know they, they definitely have their faults for sure but it has been a very very fun time collecting these figures i'm sure you guys can agree and before we continue man i want to give a huge shout out to everybody that has subscribed to the channel that has watched the video and actually appreciates the videos that we do over here man it does not go unnoticed all the people that comment like the videos every day and check us out i really appreciate you guys and you guys enjoying the videos myself and just anything man sometimes i say some dumb ish but i appreciate those that appreciate me and the channel and everything we do over here man so a huge shout out to you guys love you guys so much but let's go ahead and dive into our aew figure collection man and let's start off with this piece right here man we gotta say let me move everything forward here this piece right here is in insane and this is from a big fan of the channel his name is john DeGuano, and he made us this custom unrivaled mock aew malachi black figure if you guys want to see me remove it from the packaging definitely go check out our review of this figure everybody was freaking out look how official it looks with the picture of malachi you even have the gold lettering down the side i wanted to put it back in its packaging because i just think it looks cool but on the back you guys can see there you have malachi and you have you know everything going on with it really sweet piece i love it i thought it was fantastic and a huge shout out to john DeGuano and his son for this action figure it's insane. I love this figure, and it's one of the staples in the collection. I know a lot of people enjoy it, so I will definitely be keeping this forever, and I really appreciate it. So I wanted to start things off with our Malachi Black. Now, next up, guys, is the only Chase in the set, all right? This is the only Chase figure that I own today, and it's going to be our 1 of 1,000 AEW Unrivaled Series number 2 MJF figure. I love this figure. You know, I really, I have struggled to collect the Chases. Everybody seems to find a Chase. I cannot find one. I actually had to buy this in the aftermarket, so I never could, you know, get all the Chases. Is, uh, I'm still hunting them down or trying my best to, but it's really, really difficult as everybody knows, but the MJF looks sick. I love the pink tights, and I have it in a Defender case. It's the only figure in my collection with a Defender. I need to get more Defenders and put at least one copy of all these figures in there, but I have, uh, you know, I just don't have the room right now, man. I really need the bigger room, but there's our only chase, the 1 of 1,000 MJF figure, and I really wish I had more, but one day we will expand. Now, as you guys can see, we have a ton of stuff going on here, so here is our two-pack with Hangman and Kenny Omega, AEW Tag Team Champions, Amazon exclusive a really beautiful pack. I like the way, you know, they're pretty much just re-releases, but I love the way they look, and you know, it's nice to have these on mock. I, I don't know if I'll ever be able to keep up with all the mocks, but, you know, we do have a couple two-packs. Here's the SCU version. What do you guys think about this one? I want to get another set of this to open up, because I don't have these loose just yet, but I do want to, you know, get another version of that. So here is the SCU two-pack in the orange slash red gear. I like the two-pack. I just wish that we had uh, I need a loose version of that, but there is that. Next up, guys, we're diving into the TNT ringside exclusive code Cody figure, very beautiful. I love the packaging, how you have that like iridescence going on with the rainbow and the foil and everything. Really reminds me of like trading cards, but the TNT title looks good. The Cody is immaculate. I love that you can see even the accessories and the siding going on. Really beautiful figure. I love this one a lot and it's awesome. I, I, I love that one, man. One of my favorite ringside exclusives we've gotten so far. And speaking of which, we do have the little bit of the bubbly Jericho. You can't see the figure. You know, this is the first ringside exclusive we ever got from AEW and Jazzwares. Got the little bit of the bubbly there. You got the little bottle. You know, you got, you know, La Champion on the back right there. Beautiful, sick thing here. This is the first AEW figure I ever reviewed on the channel, so I definitely wanted to get another mock one. I'm trying to get a complete mock and loose collection of the AEW figures, so that's a, a quest that we're on, and you know, we're behind, but you know, we're, we're trying. Now, moving up next, guys, we do have a few copies of the Unmatched Series 1 Kenny Omega. This is actually my favorite AEW figure they've ever done, I think, so far, but we do have one copy of that. We have two copies of that. We have three copies of that. That's our third mock one. 
I want to say in total, I have four to six of them. I, I can't remember if it's it's four or it's five or it's six, but I know that I at least have four of them. But there is three of those. Just just so beautiful. And some of them have a running change. You know, some of them have like blonde hair. Some of them have black hair. And some of them have different things. But I love the way the Kenny Omega looks. Just a beautiful piece right there. One of my favorite figures. It's I made a rule that any Kenny Omega I find, I, I automatically purchase it. Unless there's just 20 of them. You know, I'm not going to do all that. But I try to hawk all those down. Can't wait to get these in a big, nice, you know, basement display or something. But there are the unmatched Kennys. Get the hell out of here. Now, moving on forward, guys, you guys will see that we do have this, like, stack of figures. So, up first, I don't want to, like, get it out here. But we do have the AEW Authentic Scale Ring Ring Set exclusive with the Kenny Omega figure. I do plan on keeping that mock. Again, I want to have everything on display. This is a piece that's not even on display in the room right now because it can't fit on my shelf. But I do want to eventually have all of my figures on display. All the mock ones, all the, you know, the loose ones. I want to have a really nice display and collection for everybody that comes by and for the room tour videos and just having a nice working environment when making videos and such. So the AEW Authentic Scale Ring is nice. I still need the Aubrey Edwards one. You will notice I don't have every single figure mock just yet. I am missing a few pieces, which I'll mention at the end of the video, but I really do love the Authentic Scale Kenny Omega, and it does look really good mock. Moving on to the UK exclusive Cody ring right here. Very nice piece again. It ended up not even being UK exclusive, so it released, and I think I want to say I had a, but I want to say my boy Balor Figs UK hooked me up with a loose Cody. I didn't really care about the ring. I wasn't collecting this set mock, but then Walmart posted up this set for like $20 on their website, so I bought two of them. There's actually one right behind there. There's two of these, so I'm going to plan on keeping those mock. It's always nice to have one on ice on top of the one on ice. That way you at least have one if one gets damaged, you know, some things fall, knock some over. You know, over time, something gets, you know, really damaged. It's really nice to have at least two of those. So we do have that. And then we have the Jurassic Express 2-pack, Luchasaurus, and Jungle Boy right here. And I am getting the Boy and His Dinosaur variant. I'm very particular, or I'm trying to be. I want to get all the different running changes, all the different loose stuff. And hopefully it'll pay off one day, or, you know, we'll have a really nice, cool collection at the end of the day when we get a nice big basement or something like that to display it all in. But the Jurassic Express 2-pack is really nice. You know, you open it up here. I'm not going to do it one-handed. It's really difficult and things are wobbly. I don't trust it. Now, next up, we have probably my favorite Jericho they've made so far. It's the Amazon exclusive gear pack, Chris Jericho, with both suit jackets. I love this figure. I think it's fantastic. I love how uniform and neat the packaging looks and that perfect square look. So that Jericho looks incredible. I had to grab one of these. If they drop in price or something, I may grab one or two more just to have the extra jackets and accessories, but it's a great base Jericho. If you don't own one, get that one. So as we move on here, guys, you guys will notice that we do have another mock Kenny Omega unmatched series. So there is another one of those. And if you look closely, there's another one right there. So there's two more to add to the, what, three that we have over there. So that's five mock unmatched Kennys at the moment. But, you know, again, you, you guys know the rules. That's just how we roll right now. Next up is the Amazon exclusive two-pack Mox and Darby Allen. A very nice two-pack. I love that two-pack. I think it looks great. It is just re-releases, but it's such a beautiful look, right? I just love the way that it looks in packaging. Again, the uniformed packaging with the black and gold looks really good for AEW figures. So I like that one. Oh, my God. I just noticed there's another. I just notice there's another Kenny Omega right there. So that will add to the two we have right here and then the other three over there, which we'll probably take a look at at the end. But here's Unrivaled Series number four, Matt Hardy. Very nice figure. Very hefty. Probably the heaviest figure in packaging, not count, like in the regular Unrivaled collection. But from Unrivaled Series four, I'm missing Santana and Ortiz for whatever reason. I don't know why they're missing. I guess I just passed them up at retail. I don't know because I've seen them a bunch. I just never pulled the trigger for whatever reason. I got to hunt them down. Maybe I'll find a deal on those, but there's Matt Hardy. Next up is another Unrivaled figure of Chris Jericho. This is the Series 6 figure. I actually like this one a lot. I think we have two or three copies of this one. There's one copy of it and then we do have another copy here and I want to say we have one more, but there's two copies of the Unrivaled 6 Chris Jericho. This is one of the ones that I've grabbed at retail a few times as well and then here is that other copy of Kenny Omega. So, you know, we just have, we have a bunch of mock copies here. We're running out of room here, man. And then next up is the LJN Cody from Unmatched Series 1. You know, it's weird because we were supposed to get that Walmart exclusive that's just like this, but it's variant in red. Still hasn't released. I don't know if it'll ever release. The, I don't know what the deal is there. But overall, I really like the classic pack packaging. I really love the light blue and yellow. It really clashes well and all looks nice. So we do have a loose version of this as well. And I'm hoping to, you know, collect all the LJNs, mock and loose, just like the regular figures. But uh, I love the way this one looks in package. So above our ring now, we do have our Series 3 Darby. We have our Series 5 Hangman. And we do have our Series 3 Orange Cassidy. Guys that I do have multiples of, I want to say I have four of the Darby, two of the Hangman, and I used to have three of these, but I think I only have two of those mocked now. But there are those. Some of my favorite figures from AEW. I love the Darby. I love the orange. This one had really bad legs, so it is nice to have it mint in box. And we do have the exclusive ring that's going soon that has another hangman that's very similar to this one, except I think it has, instead of a mic holding hand, I think it has a fist, or maybe it has the shooter hand only. 
I, I can't remember what the deal is there, but there are some more mock figures. All right, so getting all those figures out of the way, man, now you will see our towers of figures right here. I don't know how deep they go, honestly, but not only do we have these towers, but we also have those back on the shelf, which we'll get into. But as we zoom in here, you guys will notice that we do have, you know, Series 2 MJF, you got Series 2 Mox, you have a Series 4 Darby, you have, you know, I don't know if I should take these down and do them one by one. I just, I, I don't know what the best way to do this is, honestly. Like, it'd be nice to have these just, you know, simple on a wall, all hung up, all in uniform. That way you could just be like, you know, here's this, here's this, here's this, here's this. Unfortunately, that is not how we have it right now. So, all right, guys, so I decided to just run through it by Superstar. I feel like that'd probably be the easiest way to do it. So here's our si Series 2 Unrivaled Dustin and then the Unmatched Series 1 Dustin. And I like both of these. I would say the Unmatched is better. This is one that I really did. Like, some of these, when you're collecting Mach Man, it's really hard to decide which ones. Like, because you're collecting the full Mach collection, and it's like, whatever they release, I gotta get it, you know? And sometimes it's hard to pull the trigger on some of these things. Like, I sat on the Dustin forever, and it's something, when I get a bad release, like Series 7 of Unrivaled, you'll notice I don't have any of those Mach, because I don't like the full set, pretty much. It's a set that I really do not want to purchase, and it's like, God, why do I want to buy this set? So, that's where I'm really struggling on the Mach collecting thing, is like, I want these figures, I would love to have a full collection, all these things, but that's kind of like the fine line that you sit on when you're trying to do the full collection, but at the same time, I'm not like all the way on board with these figures, but here is each of Dustin's figures, and I, I like these mock. It's just, uh, I'm not a very very big fan of this one. I love this one more because all the colors, tie, like the blue and the silver really tie together with the packaging, and it's really nice, but yeah, that let me know what you guys think if you're a mock collector. So I did find my second mock Orange Cassidy. Apparently, I only have two of these mock, but I, I love this figure. I'm ready for the Series 8. I think this one is superior. Like, I like the regular, you know, Orange Cassidy t-shirt on this one compared to the Series 8 with the best friends, but there's the other one. And then we just have a bunch of, like, miscellaneous one-off singles, guys. So here you will find Series 6 Unrivaled Jake Hager. We do have our Unmatched Series 1 Miro, which can't wait for his next figure. I think it'll be a lot better than this one. We have our Series 3 Pa, which is very nice. And then lastly, we do have our Series 4 Guevara. Another guy that has the running change, you know, with, like, the inner circle sign back there. I need to find that one. I did find it once at retail, but I turned it down like a moron. So I do have to get those running changes, but there, I just have one copy of each four of these guys. Next up in the collection is going to be the Hangmans, and we do have our Series 5 Hangman and our Series 2 Hangman. I have two of the Series 5 and one of the Series 2. I need their chase variants. I know I need the chase variant, but, you know, it is what it is right now. We already covered both of these guys, or we covered the Series 5, but there's the Series 2. Very different. You get one long tights, one in the shorter tights, so that's nice to see, and they changed the head sculpt. So, Hangman, at least you get a little bit of differ differentiation between his two unrivaled figures. Next up is SCU. You know, we've seen these guys a couple times now, only once in the Unrivaled line, but we do have these guys, and then we have the two-pack that you guys saw before. And these guys are some of the worst shelf warmers in AEW history. Probably not the worst. You know, you have Riho and a couple others, but these guys did shelf warm, and I, I never bought another pair of them or anything. As many times as I saw them, they just weren't my favorites to buy. They weren't my favorite figures. Even though the Scorpio Sky is super underrated, I just couldn't get into it. But there are our SCU mock. Now, next up is the Lucha Bros. We do have the Series 6 and the Series 2. I'd love to know down below which ones you like. You guys like more. Honestly, very difficult. I feel like their first two right here, the Series 2 and Rival, were very nice. I like the black and white contrast and how it pops off, especially on Penta over there. But at the end of the day, I think I like the Series 2 a little bit more. Even though the Series 6 may be a little bit better with the feel and hand and stuff, I still think the Series 2 are superior. But there is the Series 2. And then we do have the black and gold in the Series 6. This whole wave had like a black and gold theme, but they're really beautiful figures, Monk. They tie into the packaging nice. So the Series 6 is nice, but are you guys team Series 6 or Series 2? Let me know down below. So next up is our remaining Chris Jerichos. We have our Series 1B Jericho over here. We have a couple more Series 6s, which we already touched on. And then we have the OG, which is the Series 1 over here. It's kind of got some damage. I honestly would like to get another full set of the Series 1 in better condition. I feel like mine are a bit, I don't know. I'm also missing the Bucks from Series 1 and Brandy from Series 1. For whatever reason, I remember getting a few of those and finding those at retail. Never found Brandy for whatever reason, but when I got the first set of mine, I did do full reviews. So, you know, I wasn't keeping a mock. So there is Series 1 Jericho and Series 1 B Jericho. Just the difference in the skin tone. You guys can see their version too. But there are our Chris Jerichos remaining in the collection besides the loose ones. Next up, we have our Cody collection. We have our Series 1 Unrivaled right there. Very crazy how we've come all the way from Series 1 right there. But it's just one of those, like, I, I don't know, man. It's really cool to see Series 1 mock, but, you know, with the pale skin tones, it's really hard, you know. But it, it's where we all started, so it'll be iconic for that reason, I think. Next up, we do have three of the Series 4 Cody, a figure I really, really enjoyed. You know, you got the cloth shirt, you got the interchangeable heads, you got the black tights, so I did want a few of those, you know, some to keep on ice. I do have my loose one, of course, as well. But it's weird because with WWE Elites, what 
it and I just I'd unbox all of them and use them for fix ups and customs but with the AEW figures man I just feel a lot differently for some reason maybe in the future we'll start to open up more or maybe down the line we'll open up more I don't know but this is what we have right now oh and then we also have our series 1b so there's the series 1b Cody you know just the difference in skin tone right there next up is the remaining Kenny Omegas we have another unmatched so I, I don't know what the count is now man a hundred I don't know maybe seven or eight but we have a lot of those we have our series one you know where it all started with the white skin tone or the with this pale skin tone looking pretty good right there then we have a couple series four i want to say i had more than this oh maybe yeah i think i do actually there's one more on the shelf over there so i'll grab that real quick i think i have three of these mocked another one of my favorite aew figures and there it is so there are our three unrivaled series four kinnies i want to say i had more than that but i guess not you know you, you know you kind of lose track there and the last one that we have is the series one version two or series b you know with the darker skin tone which was kind of a blast figure to me i think that the uh you know the skin tone they used on the series you know the series b or the version 2 of the series 1 was still a little bit off it was still not completely perfect i don't think but it was definitely better than the super pale versions next up is our mock darbies we do have quite a few i think we have four of each of the darbies we don't have any of the chase darbies but we do have we do have four of the series 3 darby from the unrivaled collection so there's one you have our second one and then we did see the one earlier so that one counting this one makes four and then we do have four of the unmatched collection i just love the way darby looks mock he looks incredible so we do have four of these this one's a little bit beat up i could feel there's like a back dent on the back maybe that'd be one to open but you know it's kind of i kind of have a same rule for darby that i do with kenny so i try to you know get those as much as possible need to get defenders for all these guys man but there's that one i just love the way the unmatched looks with all the you know the different colors and stuff still hunting down the chases unfortunately but at least we have the regular versions next up we have our mjf so we have two of the series two and one of the series six again no or i actually do have a chase actually i, I forgot about that we do have the chase over here which we covered in the very beginning of the video but another one that i would just love to have loose man i'd love to have all the chases loose and mock but it's just something that i don't know you guys know when you're when you're collecting wrestling figures it's not like these figures are we we know that they retail for 20 to 25 dollars at the most sometimes ultimate editions go for more than that you guys know what i mean so paying more 10 times the retail price for a figure that you're not going to open and you're not going to get a lot of use of and it's just going to sit there on the shelf it is very difficult and i think that's the challenge with chase variants and stuff especially if you're going to open one and buy one mock then you have to buy it twice you know that's four or five hundred dollars sometimes way more than that in whichever chase you're depending on it but i like the series two over the series six i think the series six is pretty terrible and i don't have unmatched series two mock just yet because i got my set to review and then i'll either find them at retail to purchase or i'll end up buying the full set somewhere so we'll have to see about that kind of you know just seeing if i see them at retail first then go from there i need to just start pre-ordering the full waves on top of my set to review but we'll see what comes of it but there's our mjfs moving on to our moxes we have two of the series two and two of the series five really glad to find these at retail i feel like some of those big time superstars are difficult to find mox is one of those guys and i like the series two better than the series five again no chases here which is unfortunate but we do have two of the series two and two of the series five do you guys like the series five better or the series two i do like the like addition of yellow into the tights or into the the pants over here the jogger type pants or the cargo pants but i think the series two is superior in head sculpt in skin tone and just overall look this is what i picture when i envision moxley so this is my mox moving on guys we do have our women's collection we do have two of our series one version two brandy uh, i didn't feel like opening those i could have got those loose or open one for loose but i felt like it was the exact same figure i just figured keep those mock we do have reho in the house everybody knows reho you've probably seen her everywhere at your local target walmart you've seen her before we also have our unmatched series Britt baker right here another figure i almost started buying every single one of but then after i opened it it wasn't my favorite so i decided to sleep on that and you know we're still waiting on take conti to you know either find her at retail or get another one mock and then we do have sheeta back here which is one of the better figures i wish she had lower leg rotation but i've seen her a lot of places as well the women figures are pretty easy to find outside of just brandy the first brandy and then i'm sure take conti will maybe i don't know it's hard to say I, I feel like her figure may be easier to find but i'm excited to add more females to the roster there again do not have unrivaled series 7 just yet but here is our full mock women's collection all right guys so we're almost at the end of the mock run here is our series 3 matt jackson i think we have four of these i i don't know why don't ask me why but we do have four of those with the matt jackson from series three and i think we have three of the nick jackson but there is another one right there we have yet again another one right here and then last but not least we do have one right here so we have four of these i honestly can't remember why because i don't even like this figure that much i do love the gear i love the body i love everything from the neck down but the head sculpt on this figure is pretty terrible we also have nick jackson's and we do have three of those to go with our four mats i think i ended up with four pairs of them and then i ended up opening 
getting an extra nick because I broke one of their wrists or something. But after that, we do have the Series 1 version 2 in the updated skin tone. I want to get more of these for fix-ups and stuff, but I did want to have an addition mock. So there is our mock set of the Bucks from Series 1. I don't know why I don't have Series 1 version 1 of these guys' mock. I get, I, I don't really know why. I guess because I opened them. I don't, I'm not sure. And now I'm noticing there's some crackling right there. So that really sucks eggs. Yeah, I need these guys in Defenders. Let's be honest with you. Let's just be real. Should probably open these and then order some more in Defenders or something. But there's some crackling in some of them. Some of them, a lot of these figures are in pristine condition, which is pretty nice. But some of them do have their issues. And last but not least, we have our Lucha Sources and Jungle Boys. We do have our one Unrivaled Series 5 here. We have another one right here, which is a little bit damaged up top, which is annoying. But there's another Lucha Source there. And I don't know what these guys are going to go for, depending on their condition. But we do have three of the Lucha Source. And then finally, we do have two of the Jungle Boy. Now, I don't know why I have. I think I found Luchasaurus by himself one time, which is wild. But there's a Jungle Boy. And then last but not least, the last mock figure that we have, at least I think so, is the Jungle Boy. So that is our full mock collection. Every single figure you just saw is the full AEW mock collection. Now we're going to get into the loose collection and try to get everything. But you guys just have to see the room right now. Because look at this. All these figures, all those got them everywhere there are mock figures everywhere it's more over here it's more over here and now the shelf is completely empty but as far as our loose display i think we covered a little bit in the room tour here but here is the tag team shelf you know here it's just you know there's matt hardy over there and then if you guys want to see chris jericho he's actually over there and if you guys are wondering what happened right there i was trying to get my mock collection down and a lot of them fell but there's the chris jericho's over in that area in uh, you know behind the bronze stroman's so there's the jericho's for my aew and then we do have the rest of over here pretty much got a few fix-ups here you got mjf and suit you, got, you know kind of one of each guy loose and mock you know you got the blood brothers sammy Guevara. you got matt hardy down there in the corner here's the young bucks we don't have you know another series three mat except for the one on the pick fed shelf which we'll show in just a moment but there's miro you got lance archer you got aubrey and then we have the cody's cassidy you got hager you got little andrade right there just just so he's you know near the aew figures you got sting you got warlow and then at the top we do have the kenny omega so you guys can see there we have two unmatched kenny Kenny's one Series 4 Kenny, and then we have the Custom Kenny. You got them next to the Punks over there, but there's the Kenny collection. And then, if you come over here, there is another unmatched Kenny along with Cody, the Bucks. You know, those are my loose guys right there. And I think that's all of my loose figures. So you have the Vindication Champions right here. Then you have the other loose display collection over there, and then you have all the mock figures. But anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up the first ever full MDT AEW figure collection video. If you guys did enjoy, let me know your thoughts down below. What's your favorite AEW figure so far? How should I handle this? Should I get the defenders? I think so. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like me and buy all these damn figures with no room to put them. You cross the line.